I'm going to call Stan and see if he can letter this thing today. I just called Stan up, and he said, uh, you know, give him a little time to wake up, and he'd come over here and letter this thing. What I'm going to do is pull it out, and uh, I'm going to stand it up in the floor in there so that when he comes over, he can, uh, rather than having to lay down in the floor somewhat like what I'm doing right now, he can just stand up and reach over the top of it and paint it, make it a lot more comfortable for him, you know, and all. So that's my thing. So. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and get it out of here and get it sitting in the other room there and have it ready, and uh, we'll go from there. The way this used to work before, there's three drawers over here, and there were shelves here, and there's nothing to separate them. So if you put some things on the shelf, they can fall over into the drawers. I had this two foot by two foot piece of aluminum out there. I trimmed that little section and this little section. She fits right down in there. She's just like a a half a hair wider than she needs to be. So I'm going to take my pencil and mark that off and cut it and uh, I'm going to fix it where I can attach that in there that will separate out this side from that side. Also this is the uh, piece of plywood that was originally on here. It used to stick out on both edges by about oh an inch, about an inch on both sides and it stuck up in the back and the back was nailed to that other uh, countertop. So what I did was I cut it all down, I notched it for these things that I put on the corners here, and now it should go right back into place. Uh, I'm probably not going to put it on there yet, not until uh, Stan gets through lettering it, and after he does. And that aluminum piece I can take in, put in and take out, uh, so it doesn't need to be in there either. It's just adding extra weight while we're moving it around. So uh, that's what I'm working on. I'll trim that piece of aluminum down and then we'll uh, see what we need to do to it after that. I cut it right down along here so it fits in there real nice. And I made holes here so that I can put a twist tie through and snug it down over here and over there. If you look up under here you'll see that that matches the hole that's up under here. So there's a little bar right there. So That way uh, after I get this in there I can slide this into place and uh, four little twist ties and it'll be in there good and snug and there won't be anything falling around between the two cabinets and that'll be good to go. So I wonder what else is next. I guess I could pull this little thing off. I put this up here to protect my serial numbers the other day. So, oh that's honking. Just honking. 